embarrassment. She's dead. What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at again with another video. So, I've got some explaining to do. We uh, got another car. We're gonna go head to the, uh, to the shop, dealer, whatever, and go take a look at it. But first things first, we have to jump the Z. Cause how long has it been since you haven't started it? Since you last drove it? Since you last drove it. Okay, but whose car is it? Mine. Yeah, no, I did drive it though. Um, it's because I didn't want to deal with it. It's been in total of four months since this car has oh been started. God. What happened there? What the hell? Spider cracks. That's terrible. But Willie, if you're seeing this, I don't know. You want to sponsor me? <laughs> so, well, it looks like we're, we know what I we're doing to the Z next. I should have taken the whole bumper off, like, instead of just sending my lid to me. Oh my god. All right, let's 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 jump this. Here we go again. Thing. And you guys are probably wondering, Kenny, what the hell happened to her lip? Well, I destroyed it. What had happened was we were going down 75, coming back from Cheesecake Factory, a lovely dinner. And someone decided um, they didn't need their AC compressor anymore, so they left it on the middle of the freeway. And uh, yeah that AC compressor or whatever it was it looked like an AC compressor like a really small AC compressor about like this big decided uh it wanted to destroy some lips that night so yeah we ran over well I ran over an AC compressor so that's what happened to her lip yeah she calm yeah so it's savable pretty beat up but savable so it's right now it's at the paint shop getting fixed I didn't drive it because I didn't like the way it looked without the lip, but it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I was being dramatic. Ooh. It looks way better with the lip. Yeah, it looks way better with the lip. But still, I thought it was cool. We got a new uh, dog on the channel's name is Kookie. They're mowing our grass. Yeah. Yep, they're mowing our grass. Scrappy oh. and Kooky. Alright, you guys ready for it? S2000. So I can explain why I decided to keep this car. If you guys watched the S2000 video, you you probably already seen this um, car before. I was planning on selling it until now. Basically, I decided to keep it. Don't don't lie to them. Tell them the truth. What happened? And then uh, okay, the deal was the deal was if somebody was interested in buying it, we would sell it. We had an offer. Kenny said, take it down. <laughs> take it down. <laughs> he said, why would you post it on the website? Delete it. We're keeping it. And that's how we kept it. That's the reason why. Somebody wanted it. He said, no. 
they can't have it. I want it. So that is not the reason. Um, I was actually debating on keeping the car. It was originally for sale, but it's it's such a great car. I fell in love with the silver one that you guys uh, might have saw that video with uh, with Mariana and uh, Enrique. And I don't know, just the thought of me not having an S2000 in my hands didn't sit right with me. Um, it was a phenomenal car, so I, I decided to keep this one. We live in Florida, right? Yes, I, I want to make an input. What, what's your input? I said, it also, it really touched our hearts because um, the owner we bought it from kind of made a promise to him to sell it to somebody that's going to love it and who's going to love it more than us. Yeah, so. When I originally bought the car, I bought it off of a private sale. I did not buy this car at an auction or anything like that. Um, he had one request that I take care of the car, so I felt bad after buying it knowing that I bought it to flip it. But this car isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Um, the prices on these S2000s has just been appreciating so much that I'd rather keep on to keep on like have it for a little bit and keep it and then go ahead and um sell it maybe later on in the future um because these are like i said appreciating in value price on these things have been skyrocketing i've seen one with like sixty thousand miles going for like 20k or 25k somewhere around that ballpark and i remember just two years ago you can pick up one for no more than 10 11k easily clean title and all now rebuilt titles go for that much money um or high mileage ones like with 180 190 thousand miles 200 thousand miles i've seen for that much but yeah this one is an 01 so if you guys don't know this one's a 2001 ap1 s2000 um it's the black with the black interior it's actually pretty clean on the inside even though I, uh, it's dark right now oh the car's locked too but it's the black interior the black exterior the kid that had it before me he was a little bit old well about the same age about two years older than me all he did to it from my understanding for as far as mods go a uh, renegade short throw shifter and solid megan motor mounts i think yeah and that was about it other than the, other than that the car is completely bone stock i mean that's what i was honestly looking for if i was to get my hands on an s2k for myself so that was like a huge plus oh and then i think he said he put a ap2 uh differential an ap2 soft top with the glass in the in the rear there so that was pretty cool um the car is not perfect by any means uh, as far as like cosmetics go there's some sun damage on the trunk area and then the back bumper has a few chips like right there and right there i think that's it other than that the car is pretty much clean like really clean it could use like a paint correction because everyone knows that black is like the worst color to maintain but it's overall not too bad man this really sucks i hate daylight savings there's no sun to really show it and i was so busy earlier doing other stuff that i couldn't film earlier so excuse me that it's it's already dark but yeah guys so this is the s2000 this is the new addition to the crew what do you guys think do you guys think it was the right thing to do should i have kept it should i have sold it um i don't know yeah, like i said these things are appreciating in value so let me know comment down below but yeah i have a few things that i want to do to the car nothing too crazy obviously coilovers and wheels is a must um and i like to do like a single exit exhaust and then probably like a lip i might change it to the ap2 from bumper but i don't know i i like really grown to like the ap1 front bumper as far as many as you i know as me, like a lot of people love the ap2 front bumper way more than the ap1 but i don't know the ap1 is like growing on me a lot because that's what usually s2000 owners do they they convert the front bumper to an ap2 but i think i want to keep the ap1 at least for now as far as like engine modifications go i don't think i really want to touch any of that um I want to keep it as bone stock as possible, at least for it to be easy to re to revert back to stock. So when the time does come to sell it, I think it's better off if the car was as OEM as possible. Anyways, I decided to post this video because um, 
I've been posting at all, so I needed to update you guys. I haven't really told anybody on social media that um, I ended up keeping the S2000 as far as my friends go. Probably like a handful, like a count on one hand maybe that know that I decided to keep the car recently. But yeah, so this is kind of uh, the new toy for me and Astrid. Um, we live in Florida and convertible car is awesome to have in Florida. I was never, I was never, ever, ever a big fan of convertible cars. So I told myself, if I ever get an S2000 one day, I'm going to change it to a hard top. Fast forward to four or five years later, when I have literally that for us, the 350, the 240, and the Integra, and the Mini Cooper that's way back there. I don't think I want to to convert the S2000 to a hardtop. It's kind of nice having it. It was like a whole vibe. I took this car to Orlando, had the top down, and I was cruising. It was like late at night. I think it was like 10 o'clock at night, and I was, like I said, heading to Orlando, and I was driving by like uh, water on the highway. It's, it's hard for me to explain. I suck at explaining. And it was just a whole vibe, man. I just... I don't know. It just sound, it sounds corny, but I, I I was loving it. I was honestly loving the the convertible life, which is so dope. Um, and these cars handle amazing too. So it was just super fun to drive. The AP one, obviously, most of you know, they have the nine thousand rev limiter. Um, so that that was uh, definitely enjoyable. But yeah, man, I have nothing but awesome things to say about S two thousands. I can I completely fall in love with them, ever since I bought the silver one for Mariana and Enrique. But um. Yeah, I had to join the club. I had to join the club. This thing's just too good. Too good to let go for right now. But um, like I said, I do plan on keeping it for now. Maybe in the future I'll let it go. But for right now, we'll enjoy it. All right, guys. That's probably where I'm going to end today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. It's probably a not that long of a video. I may or may not be. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you are loving the fact that I kept the S2000. Uh, leave a comment down below of what you think about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And oh, more content on the Integra soon. I already started uh, the body work on it. So uh, hopefully I'll post a video of the update on the Integra soon. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.